Aberdeen Harbour. Yeah, so you can pick up to a speed of between five and six knots, please. A multi-million pound business at the cutting edge of maritime technology. Now, Brids, you're on the move, Bob. Roger, right, on the move, guys. Where everyone works together. I can't swap these guys, you know. They're right to. <laughs> you've got to be on your ball, you've got to be alert. In the most challenging conditions. Yeah, if he gets caught in that, it'll drag you over the side. Up and down. To keep the harbour running. Let's have a good night. Oh my god! Come yeah, yeah. Come on. Oh, yeah. Come on. Yeah. Every single day of the year. You are looking good on starboard side. No, we don't drive a submarine. of a year, the harbour becomes shallower. Easterly gales and the River Dee's spades deposit silt, which becomes hard and compacted. So every spring, it's dredged. Are you getting more in, Richard? Oh, in, yes. That's all clear up at uh, the ice plant. Peter Thompson is the ship's master. Clear to go, thanks very much. Okay, we're clear to go. They've been dredging for over three weeks now. And are in the final few days. Uh, we've got some runs to do down the middle of the of the basin here. There's a few little high spots that we need to remove. I'm nearly pumped dry now, so. Phil Kershaw is dredge master. Shut the top doors. Okay, Phil, I'm going to back up now. Phil will lower a pipe to suck up the silt. But not until the captain tells him to. Just listen to what Peter says. Because if we start backing up and I haven't heard him, he's crunch your pipe up. You're not very friendly then. And we'll take the port pipe, Phil, please. Okay, Phil, let's go. Down, down, down. Yeah. On the bottom. Now the pipe's on the bottom. That's already start bridging now. Gang, we wasn't built for the fire. <laughs> and it's part of his job to visit the ships that come into the harbour. How are you doing? You all right? Yeah, you're right. You enjoying the sunshine? Yes, I'm. Almost at home. Yeah. <laughs> Today, however, he's here for a very special reason. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Good to what see about you? you. I'm very well, thanks. Yeah. When are you sailing? Sailing? Yeah. Today. You're sailing yeah, today? Yeah, I think so. Because we have a very special visitor coming to the Seafarer Centre. Mm -hmm. Her Royal Highness, the Princess Royal, is coming to the centre. Oh. And she wants to meet with real seafarers. Can you not get your charterers to delay you? <laughs> <laughs> On to the next ship, which shouldn't be leaving until tomorrow evening. You're looking smart. I have super Did you fun. shave for me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> How's things with you? I hear you get the charter tomorrow, is that? Yeah, we are supposed to go tomorrow morning at 6. This cannot happen. This is happening. <laughs> so we have Princess Anne coming to the Seafarer Centre. And I was going to invite you guys over to meet with her. It's a blow. The Princess Royal has specifically asked to meet Seaman. And Howard's not having much luck. And I know it's a working day and you're all busy and stuff. If any of you guys could get off then, we'd love to see you over the Seafarer Centre. Any special dress code or...? Come as you are. Yeah. Okay. The last thing she wants to see is, is a seafarer in a suit. That'll be good fun. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, spread the word. Well, look, nice to have met yeah. you, sir. Nice you to meet you. You have a good day. Yeah, the same. You take care. Bless you now. 
See you later, boys. Yeah, see you. Thank see you. Bye-bye. The harbour may be efficiently run, but a lot of work goes on behind the scenes to make sure it stays that way. As Andy Watson and Rory Forbes know only too well. Good morning, this you? See, I've all the toggle. Hello. So you have two phone calls from your tailings there? Problem. Ta-da! Problem. They are DCOs, or dock control officers. Oh, any the booms. Hi. Boom, boom, boom. Hi. That's, that's the Christmas trees coming, 0600. Sunday and morning. the booms are on the way. Hi. Both pieces of equipment are connected to the oil industry. That's a boom. Boom, boom, boom. I've just said that. You just, you've just called that joke. Oh. You've absolutely just called that joke. Oh. And that's a Christmas tree. That's secret. You don't get to see them at Christmas. We hate to kill you if you saw it. We'll see how much room we need. It's their job to make sure the booms are moved so the Christmas trees can be delivered as scheduled. No, you're not taking your music. I refuse to listen to your music. You know, I don't get to music. I have to listen to Soggy Peace. No, when you listen to him, you're I'll fall asleep one by one. The coffee's cold again, dude. And I'm not listening to that music anymore. <laughs> I think I can bust this rocket pipe. See, we've got two booms here. This one, ideally, would have been back at the same place as this, but unfortunately, it can't come back because of this rocket pipes. The only problem is getting hold of the agents to move them. OK, super, thank you. Ta -ra. So they can't Going to lunch. My phone is mobile. You we're going to phone back. It's OK, my phone is mobile. It's till I roll. You are harsh. I, I know. You are harsh. He's now answering his mobile. He's avoiding us. Lunch time. When he knew we were going to phone him back, he's run out to lunch. But Because the... he's scared. There's just one more thing niggling Rory. Watch this. What does a Christmas tree do? Here we go. Google knows everything. There's an assembly of valves, spools and fittings used for oil wells. So now we know that I will never need to ask that again. Like, I'm not listening to old. Oh, I'm not listening to old money music. Me, but I'm not listening to my old. I'm not listening to old money music. I'm not listening to old money music. Listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. What the fuck are you doing? See, there you go. Not bad music. <laughs> Jean Claridge are preparing to celebrate. Are you a professional at this day? Well, you know, I've been blowing up balloons professional. since I was a small boy. <laughs> As one of the few sandwich shops in the harbour, they're always busy. Some of the boat guys, and you get a few, a few guys off the ships. Aye, uh, when they're coming in, come in there. Yeah, a lot yeah. of people like that. And the good thing, I think, with uh, a lot of offices nearby, a lot of guys then, you know, it's word of mouth, you know, and we've got lots of people coming through all over now. Yeah. Even Val Morrison, barmaid at the Crown and Anchor, is a customer. And it's just about two minutes along the road for the pub, which is fine for me, because you just nip along and you're back within two minutes and you've got your dinner. The shop's been given a facelift and they've decided to have a relaunch. And that's why we thought, well, why don't we get somebody to cut the ribbon yeah, yeah. Um, and then First, first person that came to, to mind was our, was our local celebrity. Yeah, yeah of course. And then when I, when I mentioned it to her, she, she jumped to the chance, you know, yeah. she, she, was, she was delighted well, that we asked yeah. for It's an honour for me. And I would have never ever thought about three years ago, four years ago, that I would have actually been gone opening a shop. Never in my lifetime. And they're expecting a big turnout. Shall we go here then, guys? That might colour a wee corner up. How does that look? No, I think I looked fine. Joan Collins, eat your heart out. Ta -da! <laughs> the 
the seagulls have been naughty again. We terrors. The joy of being at the harbour side. Eh? <laughs> Aberdeen is legendary for its predatory seagulls. Well, we're loading the vans in the morning. They come Aye. down, and if there's yeah. six vans back right here, and if there's not a couple of people outside, they just swoop Aye. down and they take take butterflies and stuff. Everything and flying off with it. You see. Ah. see if this bird sh in my head after me being dressed. If the harbour becomes silted up, it's trickier for ships to move in and out. So they're restoring Albert Basin to its designer depth of 7.5 metres. I'm looking now at the yellow house, that's the end of the pipe there, that red square, and that's the depth at which it's dredging at. The screen also shows how much silt they still need to remove. So what we're uh, trying to do is to make all these yellow squares to turn them blue, which changes them from a depth of, say, 7.2 metres to 7.5. It's a bit like playing Space Invaders. Well, the worst thing we can get is something in the pump and you lose all your flow and everything and your pump starts rattling and banging about, so you have to go in it and take whatever it is out. have got a sheet blaster. <laughs> oh, I've had bags of cats and dogs and all sorts. Yeah, it's industrial wang, isn't it? <laughs> it's pretty bad. <laughs> As well as being port chaplain, Howard is also superintendent of the Seafarer Centre. I'm printing the photographs out to put on a display board so that when Her Royal Highness comes tomorrow, there'll be a, a, some, something for her to look at. David Kenwright is the centre's chairman of trustees. We'll put on this way around. Yeah. So that everybody can see. see in the interim period, what we'll do is we'll put it into the chaplain's room with the cloth over it. Yep. Um, so I've pinched from the club. <laughs> and then everybody can see as if it's pointing into the room. David will be presenting the plaque to the princess <laughs> to unveil. Excellent. I think we're going to have to stand in front of the, the pool table, because, because if we stand the behind, the lake, it's good. I, I think the lights are a good idea, actually. <laughs> oh, stop being modest, David. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Um, but other than yeah. Fine, well. Cool. well OK, in that no, case, then, that's what we'll do. The green matches the green cloth as well. Yeah, I know. I'll uh, leave it in your capable hands and see you again at half past four. <laughs> yeah, I'll be fine, David. Don't <laughs> worry. OK. Radio, radio. Phone. Phone. Rory and Andy are on shift again. Right. You do this. What size is your, size is your height of this? Medium. <laughs> that's good, Jack. It's size your height of this. Do you small height? Like, <laughs> small to medium? <laughs> Extra small. There you go, look at it. Extra small. 2XL, that's how big his height of his vest is. It's a thick jacket. <laughs> <laughs> and a tie. The tie, when you wear one of these ties. It's as much a height of his vest as popular, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you like? They are off to measure the length of the key for the SAF Marine Shabba, the fourth longest ship to berth at the harbour. Well, that way, everything's perfectly positioned for when a vessel comes in, it can come in, start straight away, there's no hold-ups, it's just going to have a first turn round and go away, which keeps everybody happy. Pardon me. <laughs> We've got two measurements we need to worry about. Uh, steel to steel, which is the length of the vessel, and then we've got uh, the measurement for ropes as well. Space in the harbour is at a premium. Every metre counts, especially on this berth. When you've a few boats coming, you need to know where that boat's coming for leave room for your next boat. 
stern. Het koen is een stern in de ship. 160 to wheels. Not too far away. Again, I need exercise, but that's just getting a bit much. More new machines. Oh, my God, you can. There's an air of anticipation at the sandwich shop. Is this valve coming? No riffraff, please. <laughs> You're already famous for lap dancing. <laughs> and it's time for the celebrations to begin. Oh, that's good. There's a nice new crown there now, Super. And it's with my great pleasure that I officially open doorsteps. Hey! 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 This is our new our new menu valve, and uh, Derek's got a wee surprise to tell you about on the menu there. Can you see it? I see it. Yes. Harbour Queen Aka Val. That's oh, lovely. Okay. It's the sandwich Val most often orders. Never had a sandwich cried after me. I just think it's ace. The cheeky swine one. Oh, that's a good one, is it? On a panini. That's kind of you. Thank you very much. Cheeky swine. Baguette. They aren't charging for sandwiches today. Chicken sweet corn baguette. But hope people well, donate to Bosey's, a local Chicken breast cancer charity. Mind put your donation in that box, you little <laughs> About 200 people turn up to see Val in action. You've got to have it in my sandwich. I'm not taking no for an answer. That's a Harbour Queen. Thank you very much. Me. Come on, you try this. The new one they've got in their menu. Thank you very much. A tenner for me, but I need a kiss. Eh? You just do that. Yeah, come yeah. On, oh, man. Come on. <laughs> if you were somebody younger, it would be fine. This, this feels like it's still you're in the same league. It's Madonna and all that. <laughs> the Harbour Queen for me. Unlike Madonna, though, I'll keep that there. was a day job. See you later, my darlings. Everybody, I need to go. But the seagulls strike again. My sandwich oh, fell, Lou. Look, look. I can't believe it fell out of the package. <laughs> Even the seagulls like a Harbour Queen sandwich. <laughs> The Saf Marine Shabba is a cargo ship which regularly makes the six-week round trip to the burgeoning oil industry in West Africa. It's a busy morning. We haven't done a lot, just been busy. It's the first time that pilot Jeff Gaskin has brought her in. It's just unusual. It's just unusual for this size of ship in this port. So we just have to be a bit more attentive when we're doing the job. We don't have the space when we need the tugs to turn bigger vessels. They're too heavy for the air engines in confined waters, so the tugs give us that ability to manoeuvre them. It will take the pilots, the tugs, VTS and the boatmen all working together to bring her in safely. If it all goes well... Ask me in an hour. It's good. If it doesn't go well... They won't ask me to do it again, that's fine. It takes around 40 minutes to fill the dredger. Backing up, coming up now. Finished dredging, so we're bringing the pipe up now. That's it, there you go, he's filled the hop now to its maximum. It'll now be taken away and emptied. Aberdeen VTS, UK D Marlin, we're completed in Albert Basin and ready for.
parking increased to full speed now. And then we watch for dolphins. Just go into the deposit in a minute. That's the deposit there. So once he gets into there, he, he tells me to drop the doors and we'll drop the doors. There are ten doors in the bottom of the ship. When you are, Phil. When you're ready. Where we go. So doors are down now. Emptying the dredger takes just seconds. Give it a quick splash out. Get rid of a bit of the muck. Put some more sea water in his ballast then. <laughs> ballast gives the ship more weight in the water, making it easier to maneuver. She doors up. Over 25 days, the dredger will make this journey just under 200 times. Aberdeen VTS, UKD Marlin, just half a mile from the breakwater now. Where's your next stop? Yeah, back into Albert Basin now. We'll go and see if we can clean the rest of it up uh, yeah. this time. filling up. With supporters of the centre and of course the odd sea. There are none from any of the ships Howard visited earlier. But right at the moment he has other things on his mind. I'd like to say there are uh, certain protocols that you have to follow. As much as I would like to do my usual and give Princess Anne a hug I'll probably refrain from doing so, and I suggest you do likewise. The Princess Royal is in the city to visit an exhibition and conference for the oil and gas industry. And she arrives even earlier than anticipated. She is president of the Mission to Seafarers and has always taken a keen interest in their welfare. Your Royal Highness, I thank you for visiting the Seafarers Centre and meeting with so many of the people who helped made Howard's dream a reality. A pleasure. No, I'm delighted to have the opportunity to visit the Seafarers Centre here in Aberdeen. Aberdeen has become a very, um, well, perhaps uh, busier than it's ever been in, in some ways, but the type of shipping has changed. And the way that seafarers' lives are affected has changed. So these centres are, are, make a real difference to their lives, but to the lives of their families too, because you allow them to have that uh, reasonable levels of communication, which is so That's important right. to them. So, well thank done, you. thank you. That was amazing. She engaged with everybody. I'm so pleased. A very successful visit. My only disappointment in the whole day was that none of the Filipinos could make it. Uh, all busy, crew changing, sailing. Operational needs come first. Staff Marines Shava, Aberdeen Pilots, good morning. Yeah, so you can pick up to a speed of between five and six knots, please. Right, we'll see how it goes. 
Hello, buddy. Yeah. Two pilots. Go on, next one. How are we doing? One more pilot. Here he comes. Okay. It's a challenge to turn in the basin. Especially when the wind makes her even trickier to maneuver. Right, let's get back to the car. You taking off your life jacket already? I can fit in that three times. Come on, Barbie, let's go party. Found celebrity status. Uh, 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 Angelina Julie doesn't hear Samuel's name after her. Need a ship. She doesn't realise she's about to have a few unexpected customers. Let's go and see Val for a quick one, will we? Hi, I'm drinking. Oh, here we go. Here's them. Come on. That's uh, you. And your flowers. <laughs> We've counted the money. And. Thanks to your great effort, we've raised £250. Oh, my God. All the money is going to breast cancer charity, Moses. You know, you put in an awful lot of effort today, so me and Derek would like to double that. There's another cheque for £250 to give you £500 for today, OK? How's that? No way! Yeah. OK. Well done, Dan. Honestly? Yeah. Honestly. They'll be so delighted, it'll do a lot for them. Yeah, good job. It'll really do a lot, lot yeah. for them. And it couldn't get. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Good on you. Thanks, Hal. Thank you very much. Hello. You're more than welcome. Thank you very much. Sir. No worries, no worries. You're must off. Well done. Hey, well done. Well and thanks done. again. That was brilliant. <laughs> Hello, my darlings. Hello, Wait a minute till I give my man a cuddle. This is one of the best lobsters and colours I've ever seen. Yes, look, at that. look at that. Pot of gold. Yeah, pot of gold. Look, that's what we want. Beautiful. Okay. This is the day you're glad you're a boatman. I'm just making it look easy. <laughs> <laughs> Never worked so hard in my life. Start dead shank. Good morning, sir. We are heading out towards you now. Boarding speed, five to six knots. Norman Carrier, VTS. When boatmen pitch up, you can let go. Call me when all gone. Thanks for waiting. Traffic clearance to sail. 